Now you mentioned, um, you know, Bitcoin venture capital as being as, as not being as large of an ecosystem as crypto venture capital or or fiat venture capital. Do you think this is a permanent thing that that Bitcoin's fairness and Bitcoin's like neutrality makes it unappealing to venture capital investors who may may be on a different uh, cycle expecting expecting returns on a timeline? Uh, or, or do you think this is just a fact that um, because the Lightning Network is a very small ecosystem, because Bitcoin is still very volatile, venture capital investors haven't taken the time to devote to Bitcoin and, and that that may change in the future? Yeah, I mean, it's it's so the history of Bitcoin venture capital, uh, you know, uh, old started in the basement of um, Boost VC, which is a Draper um, VC and we were, you know, BitRefill was there, Casa was there, a bunch of wallets were there. Um, and the early days was a lot of people who got rich off Bitcoin. Uh, uh, Roger Ver, um, uh, Draper, uh, and they were, they were essentially funding a ton of the Bitcoin space at that time. Um, and, uh, but it was still extremely small. Um, and, you kind of take a couple cycles in between there and not only did some of them leave or start to do their own thing, um, uh, but new entrants weren't coming in. It was only really until, you know, 2017 happened with the breakout of Coinbase. Did you see uh, uh, VCs start to, again, look in a very big way into this space and specifically into Bitcoin companies? Because at that point, Bitcoin had such a massive rally, such intense retail interest that the opportunity was got back on the radar of, of VCs. And so what you started there was two things were happening. You had the emergence of VCs specifically looking at crypto writ large, but also a portion of that uh, who are smart enough to look at, hey, there's a lot of madness, a lot of noise there, uh, but let's just focus on, on Bitcoin. It's something that um, uh, we feel more comfortable with. It's more, it looks a lot more like our existing portfolio. You know, we're not printing tokens and all this other stuff that they didn't understand or uh, their their VC structure couldn't actually even invest in. Um, so you had a small portion start to look into Bitcoin specifically. Um, uh, a, most of the other VCs went and piled in into the kind of altcoin Cambrian explosion that happened, um, creating some of the most successful on paper VC funds ever, which then created a whole effect, follow on effect of more and more money going into the altcoin DeFi space. But then you also had kind of the second round of these Bitcoin angels and Bitcoin seed investors start to pop up. Um, and they were able to write larger checks than that first group of like Roger Ver, who would, you know, do 50K checks, 100K checks. This new seed, seed group was able to do, you know, up to a million dollars or so. And they were very specifically focused on Bitcoin and Lightning Network was one of the very critical things that added renewed energy into the Lightning uh, Network space because it provided a greenfield opportunity on top of Bitcoin, which had huge network effects. The There seemed to be almost limitless applications of it. And so it really brought in a ton of um, new capital, but it provided the narrative and reasoning why these VCs can say, hey, I don't need to go look into some of these altcoins that I that I know are vaporware and that is really just, you know, a play to dump on retail. Instead, like I can invest in, in Lightning, which is extremely um, interesting because it's built on the uh, Bitcoin that has the largest network effects in it. It is the most pro it is the only proven uh, asset out in the market. Like this is an obvious play. And so Lightning was just one of the most powerful things to bring um, uh, uh, new capital into the space. And it's only now you see this is the next cycle where you have large VC firms who are Bitcoin only or primarily Bitcoin and larger Bitcoin only firms that started out as seed now are getting involved in series A's, series B's. Um, and while they're still small in number, they're actually now able to marshal the far more capital than they were able to in the, in the preceding cycles before them and before that were before that it was like 10 to a couple hundred K next cycle was, you know, a million or so now series a series B investors who are Bitcoin only and were Bitcoin only from the very start are now writing checks that are 
10 million, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars. And that is just a huge acceleration in the amount of capital that's there. That it, uh, it, and it says two things. It says that these, uh, that the VC Bitcoin only ecosystem is maturing and they have been able to find the flows of capital to get these large, large pools of capital to then deploy. But it's also that there are Bitcoin only companies that are able to absorb that capital and are now maturing. There are now at a large enough state. So like, you know, Fold Series A uh, came through, it was led by Craft Ventures. You had um, uh, Zebedee just with the large raise. You had OpenNode with the raise. You had Strike with the raise. You have um, uh, Unchained coming in with the raise. So all of these companies are now large enough, have proven out their use case enough where they can actually absorb capital at that, lar at that level. And it's at the same time where the VC uh, community Bitcoin only community has matured itself and found this new inflows of liquidity to then push into these uh, projects. Whereas if either one of those were aligned or weren't aligned, then we'd have a problem. If, if, if there were a bunch of VCs who could write 10, 20, 50 million checks, but all the Bitcoin companies were tiny and you know not doing enough volume. And if you drop that much capital on them, it really wouldn't be used efficiently. Um, but luckily these things are now in lockstep. The companies are growing. They are maturing. They have extremely qualified, you know, like leadership teams, executive teams. This is not just the, you know, uh, world of Lightning Network Conference in Berlin, you know, several years ago where it was, you know, Fold there, Breeze, Strike, um, Zebedee, all these like ragtag, like everyone just hanging out at the bar. Teams were the size of, you know, five people, 10 people, maybe max, um, just trying things out, sharing ideas. Um, and it's just an entirely different space now, both from the actual companies that have matured and the, the, uh, VCs and, and they've kind of come at the same pace, which has been amazing to see.